Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. And I did something just a little backwards the other day. I gave you a video on using near repeaters in the ICOM D Star radios. But what I didn't show you was how to use the programmer to get a list into the DR memories so that all your favorite repeaters are there for it to choose from. What we're looking at on the screen right this minute is a default file for DR memories. And I'm in the southeast because that's what I'm most familiar with. And we have Lawrenceville, and then we have Macon, and we don't have LaGrange, and that's where I am. And I want my LaGrange repeater. I want my FM repeaters and the D-Star repeater that's here. This is this is a perfectly good list, but it's a list that's kind of frozen in time. So let's look at doing something different with it. I'm going to select one, Control A, select them all, Control X, and they're all gone. And you think, oh no, what's going to happen now? There's nothing for DR memories for my radio. Well, that's not true. I haven't sent this file to the radio. Right now, everything in your radio is safe. D star, D star calculator. And I want the repeaters in Georgia. I want the repeaters in Alabama. It's going to give me 124 repeaters, and I click apply. Now, this is database management, and if you're going to build a good file, it takes a little management. The reason this is here with a blank frequency is this is a 1.2 gig module. You can use it as a two repeater. You can't hit it with this radio but you can go out through that module. Just takes making the right selections on the radio. But I don't want them in here for what I'm doing, so I'm going to delete channel and delete channel and delete channel. I'm doing a left and a right click and delete channel. Shift, delete, shift, delete. And you're going to get tired of watching me, so we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back again, and we have a good list of D star repeaters for Alabama and for Georgia. That's what I want. But I want my FM repeaters also. File, external data, repeater book search. I'm going to go around LaGrange, Georgia, and I'm going to go 75 miles. And this is my return. This is not my programming file. This is my return so I can manipulate this. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the Fusion, the P25. I don't want the D star here. I got it a minute ago. And the DMR. Those are perfectly good repeaters. But if I try to listen to one of them, all I'm going to hear is noise. So I don't want them in this list. And I want to, this is kind of interesting. This is a database entry problem. Look at that United Kingdom jumping out right there. Let's, we'll get rid of that in a minute. We're going to sort by state. and We'll have a reason for that in a minute. Come all the way up to the top and control A, up, pull the pull down through them. And I'm not going to take the United Kingdom and I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste. Now we have a transmit and receive frequency here. We need to use repeater, control C, shift down arrow. Okay. 
control V. It gets those filled in. And for here, the subname is not necessary. But it's really handy on the radio when you're looking through these repeaters because down at the bottom of this, the display, it will say Alabama, Georgia, or whatever you have in that subname. So I know these are Alabama. And for this, I apologize to my Mac users. You won't be able to do this. Control V. And Georgia. And get all the rest of them. File, save as. Hey, I've done this much work. I'm not going to lose this. Either give it a new name or save it over an existing file name. I don't need the repeater book anymore. Now, communications, send data to radio. Now I have a good list that has the repeaters that I want. I saw LaGrange while I was working. See, there's my LaGrange FM repeater. And now it's a much more usable list. So when I do near repeater, I get what I'm looking for. So let me program the radio and hang on, and then I'll show you how to use it. I'm going to tie these two videos together so you don't have to go hunt for it. Now that your radio is all programmed up with what was in that file we were looking at, let me show you how you're going to use it. I have ended up in call mode, so I'm going to press and hold DR, and now I'm in the DR memories. Want to make sure I'm on from, if I'm not, that's the up and down buttons here, to go to and from, press the center button. And I get three options, repeater list, near repeater, and TX history. What I'm doing now, I want near repeater. And I can search for all. I can search for DV, or I can search for FM. Let's search for all. And it's searching. And this is what it finds. And look at that great information down at the bottom of the screen. It tells me how far away each of these repeaters is. Some of them 30, 40, 50, 60 miles away. So I know which ones I have a chance of hitting. And that's all based on my GPS location. I select this one. And now I'm going to be coming from Albany and doing CQ, 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 because that's where I'm passing through and I'm going to be near and I'm up and ready to run. Just that quick and easy. Really a neat feature on these radios. So if you have questions, give us a call. We'll be glad to help. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.